In our market, there are approximately equal numbers of cars with a gasoline inline 4 and AV6 engine, there are almost no diesel engines. In Belarus, Ukraine and the Baltic countries they are more common, but even there they are not favored, since spare parts for them are in short supply. As well as craftsmen capable of servicing and repairing exotics. If you are looking for a car with a diesel engine, it is easier to take, for example, a Volkswagen Chiron, but those who want to save on fuel will install gas equipment. The four-cylinder EDZ, 2.4L, is structurally simple and inexpensive, but don't expect longevity from it. By 250,000 kilometers the unit will require repairs, worn-out oil seals will leak. Gaskets, oil consumption due to waste will increase. Few survive up to 350,000 kilometers without major repairs, and only because they were cared for and cherished. The timing belt needs to be changed every 90,000 kilometers, the first time, immediately after purchasing a used car, its mileage could be twisted. V6 engines, EGA 3.3 liter and less common 3.8 liter EGH, are durable, it is almost impossible to find a copy with a damaged cylinder piston group. But there are exceptions. As a rule, they do not turn to pathologists, because it is easier and cheaper to transfer the engine from the face. It is well known why units die, owners skimp on oil and do not monitor the level of antifreeze. It can leak from a leaky radiator, which sometimes you won't notice right away. The cause of the leaks is the poor layout of the automatic transmission radiator. The ohm is sandwiched between the engine and air conditioner radiators, and secured with weak rivets. When they become loose over time, one begins to rub against the other. The pump often leaks as well. There are interruptions in the power system. It's not a big deal, the technicians routinely carry out replacing the fuel filter, injectors, and flushing the throttle body, so repairs are inexpensive. It's another matter if the timing chain rattles, on V6, which sometimes happens even after 200,000 kilometers. Then get ready for more serious expenses. It's also not cheap to change the flywheel, the dam itself costs 2,000 rubles and another 6,000 will be charged for the work. Transmission. Vintage 3-speed automatics are quite reliable, but they were equipped with inline 4s, and only until 2002. More modern 4-speed 40TF, and adaptive 4 Poca Capricious, and by 200 to 250,000 km be prepared for expensive repairs, which, if you're lucky, will cost 30,000 rubles. The main reason, again, is the carelessness of the previous owners, who did not change the oil and filter on time, as required every 30 to 40,000 km. The demise of the unit is brought closer by a sporty driving style, especially if it has a V6 hood. The first sign of a fatal disease is a characteristic jerk when moving from first to second gear. However, before the emergency mode of the gearbox, when only third gear remains, it is sometimes possible to travel more than tens of thousands of kilometers. The same goes for the steering rack, by 200,000 kilometers it may begin to leak, but it will serve well for years to come. However, you shouldn't joke with the helmsman, because it happens that the running mechanism jams. A bulkhead will cost 20,000 rubles, installation of a new one will cost 30,000, and a used one will cost just over 10,000. In any case, the expense is unlikely to outweigh the consequences of a possible accident. This American minivan, of course. Not ideal, but in its class, in fact, it has no competitors.